Welcome to this video. In this lecture, we will explore the autoregressive integrated moving average models and discover how to apply them to time series data. As an example of forecasting from models, consider forecasting the monthly new housing start series. The estimation period is from January 1959 to April 1992 and we forecast for the 12 periods. First, opening a connection to R by writing the X open commands and then here you can see that this is the R window. So a basic introduction of eViews integration with R has been covered in the previous video you can find the link to the video below. Alright, the second step we send eViews dataset to R using export command in eViews command window. And this is the eViews dataset. Here we can see that the variable housing start series is given. And here we have dataset from 1959 to until 1992 so we can send this data set uh, from eviews to r by using this command export this is the data type and this is the name of the data set and this is the variable so press enter and here we can see that the data frame is created successfully. Now we can print the time series data set by writing print and here we can print the first six rows of the data set. Write the data name is data and then press enter button. This is the one way to integrate with R by writing R commands in command window. And the second method, you can use external interface commands uh, by going to file and then create new file of the program. And here you can write the R program and then you can run directly instead of running any command individually here. All right, so here I have this program already. So here you can see that this is the command X open that we can use opening a connection to R and R. this command we can use sending eViews dataset to R and then we can use x on command. You can use this command to run R programs. Once you call x on, all programs lines after that will be sent to R directly. And then you can load the required packages to fit the Arima model and perform forecasting. Here you can see that I'm installing a uh, few packages and then their library okay then we can convert the data to a time series object for example we can use ts function and here this is the data name and for instance if if we are interested to start the data set from 1989 and this is the month uh, 6 and frequency 12 which means that we are using monthly data set and here the next step you can de decompose the time series series into its components the decompose function is used to decompose the time series into its trend seasonal and random components so here you can see that trend seasonal and random and the next I am using Arima modeling. So perform Arima modeling. The Arima function 
in R is used to fit the ARIMA model to a time series dataset which can then be used to make forecasts and analyze the behavior of the time series over time. And then next we have auto arima function and the auto arima function in R is used to automatically select the best arima model for a time series data set. This function selects the optimal order of the arima model based on the chosen information criteria for example AIC information Akai criteria BIC and some others. And then we can measure the accuracy of uh, by using accuracy function of the both model Arima and Arima. And then we can plot the residuals of the Arima model and then we can forecast the future values. And here we can use X of command, use X of command to turn the this mode off or you can use x close command okay so now you can run all the commands by selecting all and then run all right when we run all the commands then we can see that uh, this is the output of the classical ARIMA model, which is based on ARIMA function in R. And here we have intercept and its standard error. And then we have accuracy measures. This is mean absolute er mean error, root mean square error. Similarly, we have some other measures. And then here you can see that we have an output of auto arima function and this auto arima function is used to automatically select the best arima model for a time series data set so this function is uh, typically prefer if we are interested to analyze time series data set and here we can see that this is the best arima model a moving average one and then sma its coefficient and its standard error so now we can compare two model one is based on auto arima function and one is based on uh, the standard arima function so here we can see that the root mean square error of auto arima model is lower than the normal arima model so the lowest root mean square error is preferred to select the best arima model so therefore we will select this model thing of time series so based on that we have this uh, forecasting results you can see that thank you for your attention